congratulations to our Park Vista Community High School Rising Senior Class of 2024. This is an important and exciting time for you all. In this presentation, we will give you lots of information to be sure that you can make the most of your senior year as you prepare for graduation and beyond. Whether your plan is to attend a four-year university, a community or state college, a career or vocational school, go into the military, or enter the workforce, we encourage you to use this year to make your plan a reality. Once you watch this presentation, your language arts teacher will bring your class to the school counseling office for an individual meeting with your counselor. It's important that you review this presentation thoroughly so that you can be ready with your questions for your counselor when you meet with them. Before meeting with your school counselor, you will receive a copy of the courses you requested on your course selection sheet with an explanation on the reverse side. Please sign this, have your parents sign this, and bring it to your meeting. If you have any adjustments that need to be made to your course request for next year, follow the outlined procedure. No changes can be made without a parent signature. You can also view your course requests through your Student SIS Gateway Portal. To view the course request screen, log into your SIS portal, select the Class Requests option. When the request screen opens, click on the Switch to 2023-2024 button. You are now on your Class Request screen for next school year. The screen should have red accents. This is only a listing of your requested courses and not the order they will appear in on your schedule on the first day of school in August. As you are looking over your course requests, there are a few things that you should think about. First, are you planning to earn an ACE diploma? If so, you need to be sure that you have all the classes required. All rising seniors will receive a copy of our ACE diploma requirements check sheet to track your progress. Something else to think about as you review your course requests is the strength of your senior schedule. Approximately 93% of Park Vista students pursue a post-secondary education, whether at a four-year, two-year, or vocational school. With this in mind, we encourage you to make the most of your senior year so that you are prepared to be successful at the next level. Colleges and universities recommend a minimum of at least five academic courses in your senior year. Academic areas are language arts, math, science, social studies, foreign language, and all AP and ACE courses. If you have any periods off in your junior or senior year, you are less competitive in the college application and scholarship process. So while it is popular to have periods sixth and seventh off in senior year, this might not be the best decision for your post-secondary goals. We have prepared a packet of information that accompanies this presentation. As you can see, it is full of important materials. This packet can be found on the school's website at pvchs.com under the School Counseling tab and then under Class of 2024 Seniors. You will also receive a printed packet when you meet with your counselor. We begin with the Senior Checklist. This list contains items that are important to check off as the year progresses and provides links for items you may need. One important link is for the College Admissions Handbook. This contains every step necessary for the application process start to finish. It can be found under School Counseling and then under College Information. As you are finishing your junior year, it's important to be sure that you are on track to graduate. At this point, you should have the following. Approximately 17 and a half credits, at least a 2.0 cumulative grade point average, pass the FSA ELA or equivalent, passed the Algebra 1 EOC or equivalent, completed at least one online course, documented and turned in 20 hours of community service. If you are missing any of these, you are not considered to be on track for graduation next year. You should see your school counselor ASAP to make a plan. Remember, seniors need to complete their online course and at least 20 hours of community service, not only for graduation, but also to have a parking decal and attend senior activities. 
If you are a rising senior that has not completed your online course or community service hours, we recommend that you do so as soon as possible. If you still need to complete an online course, you can find the directions for registering for a course in the packet. You can also find a copy of the community service log in the packet. This log can also be found on our website. Once you have completed your service and filled out the log, you will upload it through the Google form found on the community service page of the school counseling website. You should be receiving your school day SAT results soon. If your plan is to retest to raise your scores or to take the ACT, you should do so by June. Remember that you want to apply to colleges as soon as they begin accepting applications, usually the beginning of August. You should also plan to sit for both tests in the fall. Both the SAT and ACT are offered at Park Vista. If you need to take or retake either test for college admissions, to meet Bright Future Scholarship scores, to meet the Concordance score for the FSA ELA graduation required test, for other scholarship consideration, or for any other reason, you'll want to register as soon as possible because each testing site has a limited number of seats they can offer. In your packet, you can find the upcoming test dates for both this spring and next year. If you participate in the free or reduced lunch program, you are eligible for up to two free SAT and four free ACT tests, as well as an unlimited number of college application fee waivers at participating colleges. In your packet, you will find information about these fee waivers. This is the 2022-2023 State University System Matrix. It has a lot of really important information about all of the public universities in our state, such as the profile of their current freshman class and general details about the application process. All of the four-year public universities accept the common application. Some of the schools ask applicants to self-report their high school grades, while others will ask for an official transcript. We have this broken down for you in our SUS cheat sheet. We recommend that you begin applying for college as soon as each school begins accepting applications, which is usually the beginning of August. You should plan to have everything submitted no later than October 31st, 2023. Please understand that some private or out-of-state universities may have sooner deadlines for early action or early decision. If you're waiting to take or retake the SAT or ACT, or waiting until after first semester of your senior year to see if your GPA increases, you are risking missing the advantages of applying early, especially to rolling admission schools. If your GPA and test scores are close, you have a chance to be deferred at the college. In your packet, we have given you a couple of resources to help you report your grades. Some colleges will ask you to self-report your grades. Our helpful hints for navigating your SIS portal will help you find your unofficial transcript so you can look at your history of grades, courses, and test scores. Some colleges, universities, special programs, and scholarships require an official transcript. To order your official transcript, you will need to go to parchment.com. Once you set up an account, you will be able to see an updated transcript and send official copies. The detailed directions can be found in your packet and on our website. Are you interested in joining a branch of the military? If so, you'll want to speak to a military recruiter. You can find the contact information for the recruiters in our area in your packet. Also, the military sponsors the ASVAB, or Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, each year at Park Vista for free. If you've ever heard someone say that they took a test in high school that suggested they become a doctor, lawyer, mechanic, etc., they probably took the ASVAB. We'll be offering the ASVAB in November, so be on the lookout for sign-up info in the fall. Palm Beach State College is another excellent post-secondary option. They have dozens of degrees, certificate programs, and diploma options. You can find a complete list of all of their offerings in your packet and more details at palmbeachstate.edu. If you aren't sure about a career path after graduation, there are lots of career counseling resources available. 
These websites have interest surveys and other assessments that can help you narrow down a potential field. They will then link you to more information about the possible jobs available in those fields. You can find the direct links to each on our website. We have lots of resources available to help you with scholarships and financial aid. Start looking over our scholarship bulletin, which is available in our office, on our website, and through the School Counseling Weekly Update. You should also plan to attend our scholarship Thursdays. At these events, you can find out about available scholarships and resources to help facilitate your scholarship search. In addition to these financial aid opportunities, there are many websites that you can use to search for scholarships. You can find the complete list on our website. And mark your calendar. October is a really important month for financial aid. Beginning October 1st, the Bright Future Scholarship application will be open for the class of 2024. We encourage you to register for the scholarship even if you do not currently qualify for an award. You have until the end of the year to meet the requirements, but you can't earn the scholarship without an application. October 1st is also the first day you can begin applying for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA. Finally, we have a bunch of resources to help you prepare for your post-secondary path. Your high school resume provides an overview of your interests, passions, achievements, and contributions both in and out of the classroom. It's important for college admissions, scholarship applications, job or internship opportunities, and more. Think about things that you can do this summer to help enhance your resume. In your packet, you will also find our top 10 tips for writing your college essay. Many colleges and scholarships have an essay requirement. As you research the schools and scholarships that you're interested in, be sure to look for the essay topics and deadlines. Give yourself plenty of time to write the best essay possible. Other resources available to you include our school counseling website, which has all of the information about all of the post-secondary options available to you, the Park Vista College Admissions Handbook, this resource can be found on our website and walks you through the application process. The College Planning Workshop Google Classroom. While our Junior College Planning Workshop series has concluded for this year, all of the resources are still available in the Google Classroom. You can join the classroom using the code shown here. Also, our School Counseling Weekly Update is sent out to all students and parents every Friday. We encourage you to read it each week as we share important and timely information and reminders. TRIO is another excellent resource for all seniors. Housed at Palm Beach State College, they can help students who are planning to attend any post-secondary school. They help with college applications, financial aid, picking a major, exploring careers, and so much more. This is a free resource and extremely helpful. Rising seniors will be visiting their school counselors with their language arts teacher. If you're a rising senior who does not have an on-campus language arts class, please see your school counselor before school, during lunch, or after school. Remember, you should bring your signed course request form with you to your meeting. We look forward to working with you to make your senior year the best that it can be. Remember to check out the School Counseling Weekly Update that is emailed out each Friday. You should also check our School Counseling website for lots of important information. If you have any questions, please contact your counselor by email. We're also available in our offices before school, during lunch, or after school every day.